We begin tonight with possible reprisals for universities and students. Amid the campus protests, Republicans in the legislature are calling for the state to take action against university administrators whom GOP lawmakers say have not done enough to stop the violence. But that's not all. Our Capitol correspondent Eitan Wallace spoke with the Assembly and Senate minority leaders about their messages and shares how Democrats are responding tonight. <laughs> It's outrageous and it's unacceptable that we've allowed this chaos to ensue over weeks. Assembly Minority Leader James Gallagher sharing that message about the protests and violence at college campuses across the country and right here in the Golan State. During a press conference, Gallagher and Senate Minority Leader Brian Jones made clear they believe much of what's been taking place can and should have been stopped by university leaders. The administration didn't just allow this. In some cases, I believe they've been complicit. You look at the, the fencing barricade that they put up. You look at the amount of damage they allowed these protesters to do. You don't have the right to spray paint buildings, break windows, damage the facilities. It, you just don't have that right. He and his GOP colleagues say college administrators who are found to have stood by or not properly stopped campus violence should face disciplinary action. Specifically, from a legislative standpoint, Republicans are demanding the state cut budget funding for those administrators and rescind Cal Grant taxpayer-funded scholarships for students convicted of violating the law during the unrest. We should not be giving Cal Grant money, state money, to students who are trampling on other people's rights. We've had Jewish students who fear for their lives going to class. That should not be the case on our university campuses. And there's got to be some accountability for that. These Republicans say they have had private conversations and garnered some support behind the scenes from their Democratic colleagues, but all major Democratic leaders have yet to provide a direct public response to the Republican proposal. Governor Gavin Newsom's office directed us to his statement from Wednesday, saying the law is clear. The right to free speech does not extend to inciting violence, vandalism, or lawlessness on campus. Those who engage in illegal behavior must be held accountable for their actions, including through criminal prosecution, suspension, or expulsion. Lieutenant Governor Eleni Kunalakis, who serves on the CSU Board of Trustees and UC Board of Regents, said people may disagree with Israel's foreign policy, but calling for its destruction is unacceptable. It's time to end the chaos on our campuses, get our students back in school and join together with one voice to call for a return of the hostages and an end to the violence in Gaza, the West Bank, and Israel. And we reached out to the UC and Cal State University systems for comment, but did not hear back as of news time. Reporting at the state capitol, Eitan Wallace, 17 News.